Hello everyone, I'll be doing a review on the Instant Milk Frother. So I just unboxed it. Here's what comes in the box. It's got a nice lid. It's got a whisk down there that you can take on and off. It's got three lines in there. It's a minimum, maximum cold, and a maximum hot. And then putting the whisk on is pretty easy. It's got a nice handle. Now, this is where the electricity goes in the bottom, so you cannot immerse the bottom in water. So you can't put this in water. You've got to clean it by just washing out this area here and trying not to get this or this wet. It's got a base here that you plug in, and this is how the electricity gets to the frother. On the bottom of the base, it says it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 500 watts. So on the frother, there's two buttons here. This is a but function button and start stop. So you've got this little light that cycles around. So you can see how it's blue right there. That's cold. That means it'll froth it cold. It won't heat it up. Here it means it'll heat it up. It heats it up. And then this just heats it up but doesn't froth it. So the box kind of explains what these two different pictures are. That's a light foam setting for topping a latte. And then the other one is a thick foam setting to crown a cappuccino. So again, these lines in here are going to be very important. So see how that max, that max line has a thermometer by it? That's the max for that setting. And then the other max, if you see it right here, it's a little hard to see, but it's got two pictures of a cappuccino and a latte. So that max setting is for these two settings. And then there's also, that's also the max for the cold right there. If you see the cold, that's the max for the cold too. Okay, so let's pour some water into that first max line. That's about six ounces of milk. Right there. Okay, so now we're gonna, we can press the function button to get what we want. Let's do a thick froth and then hit the start button. All right, so it starts pretty quick. Now it does have a nice lid with an O-ring that you can put on top of it that that does help, and I'm gonna have it off for, so we can look at it. So it is timed, it will shut off automatically when it's done. Okay, so that took about a minute and a half. It doesn't beep at you or anything, but it is nice. You wanna get that froth out right away. That made a very nice, rich froth. Okay, so let's brew our espresso shot into it and you can see how much froth you get. So you can see on that setting, that is a lot of, of the foam. And there's the espresso shot right about between there and there, and then the rest is hot milk. So again, on that setting right there, that creates a lot of froth. Okay, so let's try it again on the other setting. I've got it filled up to the max line. Let's try it on this setting. So on these three settings, it does heat the milk up. And we can see the milk is starting to heat up. We're already at 115, 120. And at any time, if you want to stop it, you can hit this bottom button. That stops it automatically, or that stops it. Looks like we're about 144. Okay, and the key is to get, the, get it out of there as soon as you can, or it will stick to it. Brewing my espresso shot into it. So you can see, even on this setting, it still does make quite a bit of froth. So again, the box says the difference between the two settings. The first one we did, this was the first one we did, is, to, is a thick, and the second one we did was a light. Okay, so now let's try it on a cold froth. I've got it filled up again to that, that middle maximum line. This time, it's not gonna heat it up, but it will froth it still. Okay, so again, when it's done, it just shuts off. Let's pour it into our drink. That's a very rich, and creamy milk now. 
here I've got some uh, long, a double shot espresso. This will just kind of give you an idea of the different layers you can get with it. Okay, so now I've got it filled up all the way to the t upper max line, which is about 10 ounces. And let's go over here. Let's do the function. This is just going to warm the milk up. So it still stirs it. So the whisk is still stirring it. It's just not going to froth it. So we're starting out with milk around 56 degrees. And let's see what it gets up to. All right, it's been about a minute. It's, getting, it's at 100 degrees already. 135 now. Okay, so that took about a minute and a half, almost two minutes, and we end up with about a 145 degree milk. Again, it's not really frothed. It still looks just like milk, but warm. So this is a very nice milk frother. It does give, I like that it gives you lots of different options. Now you don't have to fill it up to the max every time. It does have a minimum mark, so you can vary how much froth you get by film, by how much milk you put in the frother too. The frother is very quiet and it's very quick. So again, cleanup is the only tricky part. You've got to use a brush and you've got to shoot water in there from the sink, but you don't want to get water around here or around here. So that's the only tricky part, but it is doable. Thanks everybody for watching.